cover the place with windmills. It's what we've got to do if we want to keep using electricity. Otherwise, we have to stop using electricity. And think about it. Mozart wrote by candlelight and so did Shakespeare. So the human race has lived for a very long time without electricity. We've lived and survived for three million years without electricity. Well, what's wrong with candlelight? That's right. That's right. Dr. Helen Caldicott's prescription of a candlelit future and how it resonates with her audience brings to mind a classic Penn and Teller demonstration of how receptive people can be to fear-mongering. Can I get you guys to sign a petition? What for? For uh, banning dihydrogen monoxide. Oh yeah, I'll go there. Thank you very much. Our petition woman was getting signatures left and right. We're talking hundreds. It causes a lot of urination, um, vomiting. Yeah, I'm can even cause... with it. Oh, okay. That's dye, hydrogen, monoxide, water. Uh, this is a petition for dihydrogen monoxide. What it is is it's a chemical that is found now in reservoirs and in lakes. Pesticides, different kind of companies are using this. And she's not going to lie or even stretch the truth. Not at all. She's just going to talk about what water is and what it does with the vocabulary and tone of environmental hysteria. It's styrofoam companies, nuclear, nuclear companies. And now when they use it in pesticides, when we're washing our fruit and things like that, it's not coming out. It causes excessive sweating, excessive urination. And it's in the grocery stores and in our baby's food and stuff like that. We don't know if they thought but they signed. There we are. If you saw a petition being circulated warning the dangers of dihydrogen monoxide, how would you alert the signees to its utter stupidity? Of course you'd just say, dihydrogen monoxide is water. That would end it right there. But what if you couldn't say that? This is crazy. You are sitting on top of a nuclear weapon. Because there is no common sense about what nuclear power is or isn't you can have the word nuclear without the word bomb. There's only decades of fear-mongering. Whatever they put this waste in, it's so hot, we'll start to disintegrate within 10 years. You could cite some health studies and statements made by experts in the lucrative field of dihydrogen monoxide. You want us to put water on the crops? Yes. Water. But you would be considered suspect just a shill for big dihydrogen monoxide. I think this might be Gatorade or something. I was just looking for some regular water. You mean like in the toilet? What for? No, just to, to, to drink. <laughs> Everyone knows the safe alternative is Brondo energy drink. Good for your body, great for growing crops. Today's discussion around nuclear power is a lot like trying to debunk such a petition without using the word water. Water, like out the toilet? Well, I mean, it doesn't have to be out of the toilet, but, but yeah, that's the idea.